So he, Bill hears, his mother sends him to the corner store for milk and tells him to be back in 30 minutes. The graph shown shows a relationship between distance from his home and time. Okay, so distance from home and time. So it's showing us his trip. He's going from where? Where is he starting from? Starting from home, good. So when he starts, he's at home and he's going to the corner store to grab milk and he goes back home, okay? So then he's going back home here. So what we're trying to do here is we want to describe each section of the graph and what it means in terms of his trip. If we're looking at section A, B, who can tell me what they got for anything from section A, B? Okay, so you started by finding the slope and you got 200. So we know that from here to here, it rises by 200. Remember I said to look at the scale. And then the run from here to here. So every square represents a jump of four, okay? But what does that mean in this question? Exactly. The rise in this situation, in this scenario, represents his distance, right? The distance from home, so the distance in meters, so how far he walked. And the run is the time in minutes, so how long it took him to walk that distance. Anyone know what, if you calculate distance over, over time, I kind of said the answer almost, calculating distance over time gives you the, it tells you the speed. So we can actually see how fast was he walking in the first segment, the first part of his trip. What is 200 divided by 4? Yep, 50. So his speed in the first part of his trip was 50 meters per minute. That's his rate that he's walking. In the first section, he walked a distance of 50 meters for every one minute. He walked a total of 200 meters in four minutes. Okay. As time is increasing, what's happening to his distance from home? Is it increasing or decreasing? So you can add that to your definition there, positive. As time is increasing, his distance is also increasing, which means he's getting farther away from home. Yeah? Yeah, this is still section AB. Increase. Okay, so now let's look at the next part of his trip, section BC. Just by looking at comparing the two lines, so comparing AB and BC, which line, which segment would you say is steeper? AB or BC? BC. Which one's steeper? AB. AB would be steeper, okay? Which means that it's going to have what? The steeper the line, the greater the slope, right? So think about that before you actually calculate this. If AB has a greater slope and it's steeper, do you think his trip in AB, do you think his speed was faster or slower in AB if it's steeper? It, it's probably going to be faster. Okay, so let's calculate the slope of BC to prove this. So from B to C is jumping from 200 to 400, which is what? What's 200 take away 400? 400 take away 200? 200. So it has a rise of 200. And now it goes from here, which is at 4. It goes from 4 to 12. What's the jump there? What's 12 take away 4? 8. Okay. So what is his speed in section BC? What's his speed? 200 divided by 8 is 25. So his speed in section BC is 25 meters per minute. Section AB was 50 meters per minute. Which one's faster, AB or BC? AB. AB is faster. And as you predicted, because the slope is steeper, because the line looks steeper, you knew that it was going to be a higher slope, which means he's traveling faster. So now he's slowed down a bit. From after, um, so the first four minutes, he was walking a bit faster, and then the next eight, uh, the next four minutes, 
okay? Because another four minutes had passed. He's walking a bit slower. So looking at CD, the slope is, looks like it's going to be steeper than, it's steeper than BC, so you're predicting that it's going to, he's going to be traveling faster again. So let's calculate it. From CD, what's the rise? So it's going from 400 to 600, that's a jump of, a rise of 200. And the run goes from, what? between, it's going from 12 to 16, yeah, so it's a jump of four, good, because each square represents four, yeah, you're right. Okay, so what's 200 divided by four? 50. So he actually has the same speed, again, as when? Section AB. As AB, so AB and CD, and if you look at those two lines, AB and CD, so here and here, do they look like they're the exact same slope? Yeah, and they should be, we just found that the slopes are the same, the speed was the same, a, B, and C, D. So now he's gone back to his original speed, okay? Okay, so now we're going to look at from D to E. What kind of line is this from D to E? D to E is what type of line segment? It's a horizontal line, right? What do you know about horizontal lines? What is the slope of a horizontal line? The slope of a horizontal line is always zero, right? Is there a rise in this line? No. no, there's no rise, which means that in this case, rise was represented by the distance. So if distance is zero, does, what does that mean in this question? Distance is zero. If distance is zero, it means that he reached the store. He's prob he's in the corner store now. His distance, he hasn't gone anywhere. So he's, because remember distance represented the distance from home. So he hasn't increased or decreased his distance from home. He's at the store. Maybe he's waiting in line. But what about the run? Yes, what is run in this one? So how much time has passed? Four minutes. Run is four, which means how long is he in the store? So he's at the store for four minutes. His distance from home hasn't increased. He hasn't, he hasn't gone further from his house because he's in the same spot. Okay, good. Look at EF now. His distance from home, is it increasing or decreasing? If the distance is decreasing, what does that mean? He's getting closer to home, so now he's walking back home. So let's calculate his speed. Now we wouldn't write the speed as a negative, the slope is a negative, but that just means he's getting closer to home, but let's calculate his speed. So what is the rise? So from here to here is a jump of 100, right, from 600 to 500, and then what's the run? Goes from 20 to 28 is eight. So what is his speed for sections E to F? 12.5? Yes, good. So now his speed is a lot slower, right, from the beginning. He's now traveling, he's now traveled only 12.5 meters per minute. Maybe he's, tired maybe, maybe he's tired, he's carrying the milk and he's getting tired. Okay, last segment of this graph goes from F to G. And it looks like it's the steepest line. Let's calculate what the slope is. So from F to G, we're going from 500 to uh, zero, right? So he's traveling, his rise is 500. And what's the run? It goes from 28 to what? 30, to 30, no, 40. to 40, 28 to 40. What's 40 minus 28? 12. 12. And what's 500 divided by 12? Approximately 41.7, we'll say 40, approximately 42. So his speed here is 41.7 meters per minute. Was that the fastest speed? No, which part was the fastest? A, B, and C, D. So this one was a bit slower, but his speed was the steadiest. Like he, from, for 12 minutes, he was traveling at the same speed, right? Okay, how long did his total trip take? So let's look at the x-axis now. How much time passed? So when he started, he left home, and when he returned to home here, what point is this at? How many minutes? 
40 minutes. What was his curfew? What did his mom say? 30 minutes. You must be back in 30 minutes. Uh-oh. So he was, it took him 40 minutes to walk to the store. So therefore he was 10 minutes to walk, sorry, it took 40 minutes to get to the store and come back. So therefore he was 10 minutes late. 